I'll be strafing. Now, W is one of your last Madden Challenge champion. He brought home the belt. He started a, a gaming line, Needed Gaming. You need to check out some of his clothes. Go to NeededGamingStore.com. Let's see if W can produce and come out with a big victory and put himself back in the Madden Challenge event this year. Strafing on offense here. W's going to start the game on defense. Bunch tight end. Bunch to the wide side, of course. Let's see what Strafing's going to give us today. Ooh, mm. grown man stiff arm. Get off him. All right, so W's in white. I.B. Strafing is in the blue. Y'all know him as Ryan Roberts. Plays online a lot, has a lot of creep names. Great Madden player, been known in the Madden community for a long time. Now, of course, Ryan, no slouch at the Madden either. He won the Minnesota Club Series last year. Definitely. Another live event winner. Definitely one of the better competitive Madden players of this year that I've seen Whoa! so far. And that could have been a pick by Wagner if he did not attempt to tip it. That's great defense by W right there. Fourth and six, big down coming up for Ryan. Let's see if he's going to go for it, and it looks like he is. Fourth and six comes out in that tight flex formation. Graham lined up at wide receiver, offset at the line of scrimmage. Eddie Lacy in the backfield, which means to me that he's blocking. I don't feel like he's going to be out on a route. If he's out on a route, it's a pro size or a Rawls play, and it's not an Eddie Lacy play. Good play. Eddie Lacy picks up the pressure from the left, gives Strafen plenty of time, gets an in route across the field for just enough first down. It's a good play, big play on fourth down for I'll be straight from right there to convert that. Now W is bringing both those safeties down, leaving nobody over the top, nobody off the ball further than, okay, now somebody's 10 yards further back. Finally got a little level there. Nice dot. Another in route. Now I believe what he saw there, I believe that in route was taken away until he pushed back that safety. When uh, Strafen saw W push that safety back, he went right back to that security route in route. Yeah, as you can see, W's in that nickel 335 odd, another defense that's, that's known this year. Everybody's running. You can see W, he's going to be running a lot of cover three, running that linebacker crossfire, a.k.a. the loop D. As you can see right there, LB cross three, show two. He's going to be mixing in a lot of cover three coverage. We're going to see if Ryan Roberts is going to be able to stop that and maybe beat him up the seams. And a lot of people's cover three beaters on this part of the field mm, from about that, uh, about that about that 30-yard line in. A lot of, some people's cover three beaters just don't work anymore. Yeah, that's a big hit by Earl Thomas right there. And it looks like W is just kind of giving them that, and Ryan Roberts is just taking the same play over and over. Like, hey, if you're going to give it to me, I'm going to take it. A little bend but don't break by W, and straight from not being greedy, only taking what he needs. First and 10, little play action fake. Good dot. Like I said, he went for those seams. He knew that he was in that 3 3 5 odd, and that's the weakness when you're running that cover three right up the seam. High ball to Jimmy Graham, touchdown. In that time, W had dual robber zones on the field. He had two yellows, if you will, out there, which is going to leave that streak route open, that seam route open. High pass to Jimmy Graham, first touchdown of the game. And so we have Drini and Problem setting up for the next game. We're going to be switching back before. Switching back and forth with these two games. So Drini was victorious. He beat I'm Wild in the second round of the playoffs. That is who Problem will play, Drini. Of course, the winner of the W Strafen game will play the winner of the Problem Drini game. And the winner of that will be our first Final Four participant. But before all that, W just wants to touch the ball once in this game. Definitely, definitely. First and 10 for the Madden Challenge champion. Now, W is an avid streamer. You can go to his Twitch channel. He's always locked in. He's ranked number three in salary cap mode. A great Madden player, champion. I want to see if he can make a good run today. I don't know if he's going to win. He might. You know, W is the type of guy, if you sleep on him, he could definitely be there and, and clutch up in the championship. Now, of course, someone from his crew is already waiting in the Madden Classic Finals. Skimbo won the first sanctioned event of this year. Skimbo, Dubby, Bugs. I hate the crew name, JBL. I'm not going to tell anyone what it stands for. I like it. First Good. and 10, second and 20, excuse me, in a big game, got a lot of that yardage back. It's going to make it third and manageable. So it's third and eight. As you can see, Dubby, he's going to be in that bunch. Skimbo is his lab partner, so they're going to have similar offensive Offensive plays, offensive schemes. Now, one thing I have noticed, of course, um, I enjoy W's scramble. 
That'd be one of the oh, oh, big, big hit, hit! And Russell Wilson got it back. It's okay. No, he didn't. No, he did not. I thought that ball went right back to him, and it did not. Turnover, strafing, seven nothing with ball in field goal range. Don't do anything crazy, and you will have a two possession lead. That is not what Dubby wanted to see on his opening drive to get a turnover. He tried to scr scramble with Russell Wilson. Strafing had the great defense out there for that play action. Play action, C-Rod out a bunch. He played the cloud flat so the C-Rod wasn't open. W didn't want to take the check down, tried to scramble, scramble with Russell Wilson and paid for it. Didn't slide early enough and got kicked in the chest. Just a great hit stick also. Just a great hit stick to make Russell Wilson fumble. Two runs, gonna make it third and short. Maybe the last play of the first quarter. You see Ryan Roberts, he is locked in. You can see the look on his face, he's focused. He ain't worried about nothing around him. Snaps the ball early, dual crossing routes. Hits the deeper of the two, first down. It's gonna be first and goal from the 13. And let's see, can Dubby get his stop back? This is the area on the field where you are more than likely to get stops when you are playing this high of a level of competitive Madden. That cover four red zone defense has been hell all day. He Russell scrambled. scrambles on it, he picks slides. up the first down. First and goal from the three, kicking off the second quarter. Great job by Dubby there. Went ahead and hit Russell Wilson. Russell probably could have dove and scored on that one. Strafing didn't want to do anything too crazy. Just it's took no the slide. Way. It is no way I'm about to dive into the end zone with Russell Wilson. Not at all. First DC house. Great, <laughs> great block shed by Wagner. I actually got in the backfield and I believe he lost yardage on that. Now one addition to the goal line form this year. It's the first year we've had the power G in the goal line. I've not seen anyone run it. The power G? Power G in goal line. I've not seen it all weekend. Man, the goal line D is so tough this year. It really don't matter what you run. It's getting Backfield, Lacey breaks the tackle, breaks a few more, stays up, does not get the first down, loses even more yardage. And Dubby stands up for himself and holds straight in the three. That's the best thing you can do in that situation. We'll call that a victory for the Dubby defense. Yeah, that was a big stop. He needed that. Strafen wants to make sure nothing is blocked here. Just trying to throw off the timing of Dubby. Blocking field goals is all about timing this year. That's why you see players stall after they have made that kick. Just to make sure that player can't block it. They'll randomly take their finger off. Some people even feel like if you hold the kick until there's three seconds on the play clock and allow the game to snap it for you, that it can't be blocked. And it looks like Strafen is one of those as well. Yeah, that's what Drag said last year. 10 nothing strafing. Dubby's going to get ball back. Needs to score. Wants to get off that goose egg. You see the main stage. Ryan's locked in. Dubby's locked in. That one's going to go out of bounds. No chance at a kick return. He'll get the ball to 25. This is a big drive for Dubby right here. He needs to come down here and get seven. I don't think he can settle for three and still win this ball game. Yeah, it's early, but he needs to come down and get seven and answer back. One thing I have noticed, the... The Skimbo offense, that bunch offense that won the first sanctioned event, was all about a long corner route, which has, for all intents and purposes, been patched as how over effective it was in that first tournament. Maybe making Dubby a little, little uncomfortable on offense. I know that was definitely their security blanket. That was their go-to mm -hmm. when they needed 16 yards. They knew exactly what route was going to work. Maybe just Dubby's a little off kilter with that not going to work out for him anymore. Great manual bump there. Did he keep his feet in? Yes, he did. Very Dub good job of manually bumping that drag right underneath and taking it away. That was that first read. But Dubby, never going to force anything, fires the corner out. Great conservative catch. First down. You don't know Dubby is in that Green Bay playbook. They have a great doubles bunch, tight. It's a good offense to run this year, people. You know, if you're struggling, don't know, hop in Green Bay and take notes right here. Strafen looking to occupy a lineman there by usuring the gap, by standing in the gap. Looks like he was in a spy. I know a lot of people like to try to confuse the O-line in a yellow, or even the purples are popular this year. I prefer the spy. I like what Strafen's doing there. I feel like it confuses the O-line a little bit more. Let's see, is that gonna work out to his advantage? First and 10.
First and 10. Good read by W right there just to take what he gets. Doesn't get much yardage, but not a turnover. Great hit as well. I believe Strafer was trying to bait him into the seams there. Yeah, he, he was trying to bait to him. He wanted him to throw he was that seam throughout. Bunch to the short side here for W. Flips it, bunch to the wide side. Put yourself in a much better position doing that. Good pocket presence by W. Whether he's trying to send outside pressure or trying to send that loop pressure up the middle doesn't seem to affect W either way. He's definitely keeping his composure, staying in the pocket, trying to find a way to get on the board before halftime. Now Ryan is starting to switch up the D. He was running 3-4, running loop Ds and all types of other stuff. Now he's in that 4-3 under. Let's see if this adjustment will get him to stop. Death by a thousand paper cuts for W right now, just taking three yards on a drag, three yards on a drag, four yards on a drag. Probably wants Strafen to bring a few more yellow zones out, some few shorter zones so he can try to go over the top with one of those corner routes that him and his crew are so known for. There is that corner route, very well covered. Scrambles for a first down, uses his first timeouts. In field goal range now, 37 seconds left, two timeouts at his disposal. You think W gets six right here, gets held to three? I think W needs six right now, and if he needs it, he needs it, and he will get it. Good check down. Big hit. Big hit by Sherm right there. Sherm is definitely acting up to death. Thirty-three seconds still, second and short. Shotty doubles, presses the line, uh, corners there. Just taking what he gives. That time Strafen acted as if he were going to take away the drag around the right, jumped to the drag around on the left. W waited for him to make that commitment so he did not throw to the wrong underneath route. Strafen committed to the left, W threw to the right, first and goal from the six. Draw, good touchdown. handoff, touchdown. Great play call. That's a good drive. Now, my question to you, user, is 24 seconds too much time? Nah. nah. 24 seconds, that's cool. You, you can still play good D with 24 seconds and get a stop. All right, so we're about to check in to the next match. We have Problem and Drini. We're going to go ahead and let that go to halftime. And Drini is in the white. Problem is in the blue. Drini is getting the ball right here on opening kickoff. Let's see what the young phenom can do versus the GOAT, the greatest of all time. And just like Problem brung up in his interview, this is his second game of the day, and it's the second game where he's playing someone that he labs with, someone that he plays with on the regular. Mm -hmm. If there are two people here who know what Problem are going to do, it's Serious Mo and it's Young Dreamy. Mo couldn't get the job done, had a little adversity from Madden there. Madden gave him a little bit of an extra fight. Let's see, can Dreamy take it to the mentor. Yeah, let's see. And a big hit stick. This Seattle defensive line has no time for anything right now. Definitely. These Seattle offensive line is horrible. Awful. <laughs> Real bad. Horrible. Can I get four people together and we can protect better than that line? All right, here we are. Twin. Twin tight and close. Stack. And one thing you see there, just to reiterate about that line, number 63, an offensive lineman, has two players that he could have blocked there, blocks neither one of them, probably because of the awareness rating that he has. One thing a lot of Madden players don't realize this year, the awareness rating of your center will actually bring up the quality of your entire offensive line. So if your center is a higher awareness, your line tends to not get locked. I know one of the big things now is locking the tackles and allowing people to loop in. The higher the awareness of your center, the lower the chance that happens. Who do you like to win this game between Problem and Dream? Problem. I can't go against that man unless he is going to play scheming. Oh, boy. All right, people in the chat, let us know. Do you like Problem to beat the young phenom Dreamy, or you think the young phenom is his time? Oh, my goodness. Intercepted Picked by off. the GOAT. Picked off by the GOAT. I 
that's going to answer a lot of questions for the question I just said. So people in the chat, do you believe Greeny can still bounce back and stay in this game with Problem and possibly pull it out? Or you think Problem is just going to do what he does best? Stole a possession from Greeny there. So he will also get the ball to start the second half and has a chance to start the game with a lead. Great run defense by Drini there. That looked a lot like the run that uh, run defense that Mo was using its problem. And he was having some pretty good success with it. Again, the winner of this game will face the winner of the Dubby and IB strafing game, which we will keep you guys updated on. Do not worry about that for all of our strafing and all of our Dubby fans in the chat. We are live in Las Vegas, Neonopolis, top floor. Madden 18 Challenger Series Championship Sunday spin move Drini gain of two. Shout out to Creelville. He says he thinks Problem is going to win. A lot of people say they think Drini looks shook. They think the stage is too big for the young phenom. Now Drini, he's an avid online player. He's ranked like number two in salary cap. He has his own ebook out on Problem's website. Now, he does great at home in his sweats, walking around in his undies. Let's see if he can perform when he has to lock up face-to-face -face under the bright lights first to go. I hope that man has athletic shorts on when he's playing John Madden. Field goal for the problem. It's good. 3 nothing. Count that as a victory for Drini. When you turn the ball over in your part of the field and you can hold your opponent to three, you should feel confident more so than you did to start the game because you just proved to yourself that you can stop the greatest of all time. Go prove to yourself that you can score on the greatest wow, of all time. nice move, nice move. Nice and get move. yourself even more confident. It's going to be first and ten for the young Fina. Shouts out to the man community in the chat. We see you. All the goons are here. Siwu, Bugs, Queenie. We see you. Appreciate you tuning in. Shout out to my man Bugs. Big Lions fan. Big game for them today. 2-0 Lions. 2-0 Atlanta Falcons. And shout out to Curly Top. I want the glory. Phil Deal. LT. First and ten. Drini coming back out in the trips tight end. His favorite formation of this year. His bread and butter. His go-to. Outside pressure forces him to step up. A block shed from the D tackle forces him to lay down. Second and 12. And problems cheap. He's got his pass rush on aggressive. Yeah. Now, Drini, this is his offense. This is the ebook that he has out. He's obviously in that Miami, Miami Dolphins playbook. He's in that bunch tight end. As you see, he's going to be audibling that between bunch wide right now. This is also another good, good formation to run. Good handoff Great right there. Great blocking downfield. Great blocking downfield. I feel an inside juke. Maybe the better user move there than a spin. Either way, it's a first down. Ryan Roberts telling Dubby that this one is over, man. We will get a score eight day for you on that match as soon as first and ten for the Phenom. Wide trips look. Oh, my Had goodness. verticals over the middle but had no time to make the read. Another sack and problem still cheap. Problem is out here screaming. Now, Mo took advantage of the pass rush being unaggressive. Got him to jump off sides. I have not seen Drini attempt to do that once this game. Let's see, does he go ahead and try that, or does he just allow his mentor to constantly pass rush him aggressively? Going into the second quarter. See if Drini's going to come back out in that bunch tight end. He was just in. Base up the middle, picks up two, maybe three. It's going to be third and manageable. I believe Drini there in that situation just didn't want to face a third and long. He wanted to make sure he had a little bit of room. Also wanted to help get himself in the field goal position there Definitely. because he's not quite, in my opinion, in field goal position. And for the first time, Drini takes advantage of Problem's pass rush being on aggressive, fakes the snap, forces Problem to go directly in there and take that off, third and three. As you can see, what a close-up Problem right there. He's focused. He's just locked in. Drowning out all the noise on the stage. He has, I'm strafing and W right beside him going wild. And he has to play the winner of that game. And they are going absolutely nuts in that game. Ryan Roberts saying it's over. And problems just focused in. Drini's focused in. 
have to stay tuned into your game. Don't worry about who's next. With a great play call on third and three right there with Drini to convert for a first down. Very good play call. Drini's played problem enough. He knows on a third and short situation what he's more than likely going to be facing. Knows he's going to have the middle of the field open there. Great play call. First down. Field's starting to shrink. Let's see. Does the play Screen. call. Outside pressure. The play action is never the move at that one. Second and real, real, real long. Drini just doesn't look as focused. I see his eyes kind of wandering beside him. You know, he's looking to his left and right. He's he and W and Ryan Roberts cap over there. Almost looks like he's going through the motions at this point and not actually locking in. Good pocket presence, good read, good check down. Crossing route picks up the yardage that he lost on the sack, getting himself back to a third and long. Now, Drini was another guy that was at Beyond the Sticks. We haven't had much of him on the, on the stream. He was a guy that was locked in all week out here. Everyone thought in the camp that he was going to have a great showing. Obviously has. So now we're going to check in with the other game and see. Here's a big play right here. Oh, Ooh, big hit stick fumble. fumble. That's where Ryan was telling yeah. him that this game is over. On the hit stick fumble right there. Follows oh. it up with a deep throw here, as you see on the bottom screen. of the screen. Oh, Ooh, no. fourth and eight. Sacked. They are in a hell game over there right now. Stretch, and he made it to the corner. Scored that touchdown. Right back to live action. Yeah, so W is up 14 to 10 that game. He fought back and got a stop on that fourth and eight, as you just saw in the highlights. Now we're back at it with problem in Drini. Drini is milking this clock. They're ready to take it to the two-minute warning. He's down by three. Now he knows he is in a very good situation here. At worst, if he calls this correctly, he can tie the game and then force problem to hopefully make a bad read, maybe try to get too much yardage too quick, turn him back over, and score before half again. Play action. Good stick work. A little bit of a dangerous no-slide attempt there. We're going to have second and five. Drini can pick up a first down without scoring and take even more of this first half clock with him. Single back big, classic formation here. Just barely gets the playoff. Problem Indeed. knew the stretch was coming. Problem blew it up. We're going to have third long. Third and eight, this is a big down. Drini, I know he would like seven. And you want to get seven versus problem. Good playmaker. Great playmaker there. Great playmaker. Problem was trying to bait him into throwing that hook route, acted as if he was going to follow the crossing route behind it, jumped right back to that playmaker route. When Drini saw him run back to it, he immediately playmakered him to the opposite side because he knew he had room there. Forces a pass to no defenders. And that's what I was Touch saying, the difference between the old guys and the young. You see this stick to hit that playmaker to get a quick, crispy cut to get him open inside the red zone and get a touchdown. You know, older players like, you know, me, myself, you know, I'm like, I'm not even thinking about playmaker. And if I do playmaker, it's not going to be hot and crispy like not this. That it's it's going to be kind of rounded off, and I'm going to end up having to scramble. Old man playmaker. <laughs> yeah. We got old man playmakers. Drini does a great job of taking advantage of one of my favorite features in the game, the playmaker. He's got him beat. Great swat there by Drini. Baldwin had a chance at a one-play touchdown. Second and 10 now. Drini coming out in that 3-3-5 odd. Problem has seen this plenty of times. He knows how to pick up this pressure. One safety deep here. Let's see, does he try to go back up top? Problem in that tight slot up in the center. Doesn't like it, gets out of it, gives it a two-back look. I know a lot of people have been wanting to run the ball. I heard a lot of rumors last night. A lot of people went back to the hotel, and they kind of labbed against that problem. Shift linebacker, 3-3-5 three, three, defense. And a lot of people feel running the ball is the better way to stop that. They feel like running the ball is going to get him out of that formation. I had one player tell me, and that's the key when you're playing a guy like Problem. Get him out of his favorite defensive formation. See if you can try to pick apart his backup 
defense. Definitely. Third and nine. Flex offset there. He's got the route he wants. Beautiful catch. Great conservative catch. It's the best catch in the game this year. First down by problem. He's at the 50-yard line. He has 50 seconds and still has a timeout in his back pocket. Ryan Roberts in Dubby's game has got a lot closer than we expected when we left it. Let's get you back into that action, see if we can't see the finish there. Problem picks up his first down. Strafing in Dubby, 14-10. Here we Strafen go. Has ball down four. He's down four. Game is on the line. Dubby is clutched up and fought back. Let's see if he can get a stop and keep his run going. Play action. Playmaker. Wow, big dot, big play. As you can see, Ryan Roberts snapping on Dubby, capping in his face, and this is the difference between online and offline. At home in your undies, you're walking away from the screen like I can't believe it. But guess what? You can't walk away out here. You got to handle the heat. You got to handle somebody capping live right in your face, just like Ryan Roberts capping at the former Madden champion, W. I don't care what you want. I don't care what you need. I need it more. W is down three. He has all of his timeouts. He only needs three. He's a former Madden Challenge champion. Somebody like Ryan jumping in his face, screaming at him is not going to get him out of his element. He is calm. He is collected. He has 20 seconds to put a drive together. 20 seconds, he has all three of his timeouts. You think he can come up with a field goal? That's what he's hoping, I can tell you that much. Now, Strafen does the correct thing there. Make sure all of his coasting adjustments are appropriate in this situation. Make yep. sure you're playing the ball. Make sure you are not trying to tackle aggressive. Make sure you're not trying to strip aggressive. You don't want any broken tackles. You don't want to lose this game for yourself. Now, I'm going to tell you, if anybody got some plays that can get down the field, Dub dot W got some plays that can stretch the field. The halfback angle route, which you must manually Big guard, play. goes up top. He needs five yards to get right back in field goal position. Just like I told you, all of the jumping, the yelling, Dubby's been in this situation before. Philadelphia is one of the most rude cities in the world. You think he hasn't heard worse than what Ryan just told him? One play, field goal position. Definitely, and like I said, Dub dot W has the plays to stretch the field. Coming up, Pup. Coming up clutch with a big catch on the first play, not wasting any time. He's going to go for the jugular here. He wants seven. I think Good he's scramble. got the PA post route. I think he had the PA post route. Great block shed. Maybe took out of the pocket a little bit early. Didn't want to get sacked and get out of field goal position. I realize it. I think he may have had the game won with the PA post route. It may have been open, but he, wouldn't, he wasn't going to get it off. They were all around him. They were swarming him like bees. Second and 10 now, eight seconds left. Still has a timeout, just looking to gain some yardage here. Oh, cover two beater. Caught him slipping, but he's still going to have to settle for three to take this thing to overtime. If he runs after the catch, are we looking at a victory for Dub Dot W right now? Definitely looking at a victory, I think. I believe those were instincts taking over. He didn't want to have a dropped pass. The Seattle Seahawks receivers are not the most reliable players in the world. Yeah. He probably did the smart thing there conservative catch make sure you get your three we've all played this game we've seen those animations when you even have a receiver beat and they still drop that pass when you try to do that overtime Dubby takes his three let's see who's going to get this ball here we go no reactions for either player so we'll just have to figure it out ourselves I guess Dubby's going to get the ball yeah, Dubby won that coin toss Let's see if he can come down here and answer with six to close this game out. Six wins the game. Three gives Strafing a chance to tie. If Strafing turns him over, he can win on a score. If he scores on defense, he wins. It's just like the NFL. Speaking of scoring, Drini has just scored a touchdown. You're seeing that on the bottom of your screen. Playmaker again. Oh, big hit on defense by Drini, and that's how he scores, playing great defense and problem, looking like he had a brain collapse. 
did not slide and paying for it. Now he's down 14 to three to the young phenom. This will be big to the young phenom to come out here to one of his second event this year and beat the GOAT on the big stage. Let's see if he can close this game out. Second and 18, W in a tough situation. Good B gap pressure there. Picked up well by W because he just got sacked with it the play before. Throws to the flats on second and long. Picks up a few. Gets himself in the third and slightly shorter. It's a lot of pressure on this play right here because if you don't get it and you have to punt, your back is against the wall. Strafing just needs three to win the ball game. Mm -hmm. Good pressure there. Good read. Big drop. Big drop. Huge drop by Baldwin. Great hit by Earl Thomas. Do you punt? I punt. If you don't punt and you don't get it, you just lost. It's tough. You see W got his head down. He doesn't know what to do. He's contemplating. He's like, I really just don't know what to do. If I punt and it doesn't get him out of even field goal range, it's waste. But it's fourth, fourth, fourth and 14. It's not that long of a play. But he's going to punt. He's going to try to trust in his defense. Let's see. I'm sure he has a 15-yard play. He feels slightly more comfortable on defense right now. Just probably playing this as more a field goal position game. He needs a great punt else. right here. Hopefully he put it out of bounds, and he didn't. He gave Strafen a, a chance. And there it is. That's going to be enough yardage right there. Strafen's going to get in the field He's goal range. He's going to take it to the house for the Maybe game. Maybe even take it back. And that's why he was contemplating. And Ryan Roberts is capping at him so hard. That's why he was holding his head down. He knew the situation that he was in was dire. It was like, it's, it's no right or wrong answer. If I punt, he's probably going to get in the field goal range. If I don't punt and he's stopping, he's already in field goal range. It's a dual-edged sword, and either way you cut it, it hurts. Ryan's going to take his field goal on first down. Looks like he will hold that, let the game snap it at three seconds, try to take advantage of that situation where it can't be blocked. Timing, good. That's a big win by Ryan Roberts right there, right there to knock out the former challenge champion, Dub W. And I would not be surprised to see Ryan stay right there on the stage, watch that Drini and Problem game because he gets the winner. And it's looking like he may get the phenom. Oh, my young.